Naturally, but we have I mean, these students, or we have students who want mm -hmm. to share their life experience with you. They want to share how, how the KSP has really influenced their life. Yeah, thank thanks. you. Uh, a big clap. A bigger clap. <laughs> thank you, Walker. Uh, how many of you haven't voted here? Mm -hmm. All of you are in the political science department, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. How many of you are in the political science department? Okay. Have you all voted? Yes. Okay, no, I had no. Mm -hmm. Can you kindly vote now? Okay, uh, vote for Elizabeth. Right? You know Elizabeth? You know Elizabeth? Yes, I'm recommending her. She's a poor scholar. And normally, poor scholars, we are advised to get into leadership to go and then solve problems. Because when you come to camp, they will teach you that don't just leave an office just like that. So we, we have huge responsibility on our way. So it's not an opportunity to just say that we are supporting someone. But she will come back to account to Dr. Pascal what she used the time to do, the tenure to do. So is she around, Elizabeth? Okay. But please do want to vote for her. I heard someone say, no, please, where are you? Can you please vote for her now? Because we need your support. Okay, we need your support. That's Elizabeth there. And we are just praying that she, she wins this. Sometimes I teach you that you, you are under Dr. Pascal and are going for leadership position. You are there. Assign your students who really vote you said. Anyway, my name is Kapunati. Um, I'm currently in the law school here at Lakon. And I'm privileged to have this opportunity to share with you my journey thus far. I'm a past scholar or Alan. Alumnus, right? And I'm still with the PSP program, and I'm contributing my quota to the development of the KSP. And so I found this as a beautiful opportunity to interact with you, to impact you. And um, I just wanted it to be quite lively, a bit of casual, and so I used this image of Shatawale. I think that was when it was Bandana, right? Banana, right? Yes, and then this is the Shatawali we all know. How many of you know his story? And we all know that he's a ghetto boy, right? How many of us know he's a ghetto boy? Shall we go to the boy? Forget about Dr. Pascal. We know he's a ghetto boy, right? Yeah. We are Shatawali here. Yeah. Great. Now, I use this image because we can relate. And it's important that you relate to everything I'm going to say. I say that your story would be better. Because there's going to be a time where you don't have an opportunity or a platform like this to also tell your story. But I'm trying to make it quite as deep as I can. Before I, you meet me and know what I've been through my journey and the lessons you can pick from, and why KSP is going to be the biggest thing, not the biggest thing happening to Ghana in terms of leadership, governance, and accountability, the reason KSP is the best. And everyone should force to make it through the legitimate. I want you to meet these friends of mine. So this is Adam Kojo Do. He's an environmental activist and he works at the office of the president. Now, Do is very strong when it comes to the environment. And I got to see his passion being supervised by Dr. Pascal when we went to Adegubu and then we they had a collaboration, yes, we had a collaboration with some plantation. Mm -hmm. Say again. I thought that issue for that Exactly. And we celebrated a day, the international day there, and we had to plant trees. It was one of the resources KSV used on the day. And when I was tasked to write a story, I had to consult him as a point in time because that's his area. And look at how far he is risen to. For me, it's the highest office you can you know, serve. And if people are making money at the presidency just because they are studying plants, <laughs> you should be a big person, say it. <laughs> so, I appreciate it so much because of the 
diversification or how diverse he is his presence to the Kufo Scholars program. How diverse he was, his presence. Because just like a dog tells you, they don't train politicians, they train leaders. And so I remember the um, uh, Papa tells the when I say Papa, it means the former president. That's a spiritual father in leadership in everything. And so you must invite him. He tells you that you can't be a leader in the farm. You can check the website. I think it's very there. So this guy is a leader in the farm. He's a leader of plants. So it's not just about businesses. It's not about politics. Wherever you are, if you are an instrumentalist, if you are a dancer and all that, he has trained you to become the best at what you are and what you want to be. Meet another friend of ours. Felicity. I call her Felicity because she's traveled. She's traveled widely because of years. So it's not Felicity, Felicity. How many of us know New York City? New York City? How many of you? New York. Have you been there? You haven't. You go there, say that. Yeah. Felicity, look at her qualification so far. Medical school, she's in the final year. She's a co-founder of the projects that win an award in US of Day. And the tickets for PSP. She and then a few of our friends qualify. And they travel to represent us. And forgive my biases because um, this is my badge. So I can speak to it. I'm related with them. But we have senior, senior, seniors. This guy, Nana, 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 yeah. you see him operating like that. He's a senior post scholar among all of us. Let's give it for him, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are not senior scholars because, eh, you know what I went through? Through the hands of Dr. Pascal before you are here. Why are the freshest? The scholars. Uh -huh. you, must, you must give scholars respect. Nana worked at the African Center for International Criminal Justice at Gimpa Law School. Aside, you know, giving his services to back to the, the KSP program. So, we are big in our own small way. Say you are big in your own small way. Yeah. Yes. And what KSP offers you is an opportunity to grow. It grows you and makes you the best at it. And recently, that's something that became the core of the program where they connect you. It's not enough to empower someone. You be connected to those areas. And just like Prof said, you need to know someone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Felicity. When it comes to health matters, Felicity is an expert in the house and beyond that. And the contribution have been recognized even at that international level. And I recall the grooming that they went through before they left, just to make sure that the former president's name is up high there. Recently, I saw a drawing of Papa, and it was by one, you know, quite renowned artist. He's been working on this drawing. How many of us have seen it? Anyway. He's working on this drawing for years just to honor his leadership skills. And you know, Ghana, we don't, we don't recognize and appreciate those who have actually transformed our leadership circles. Those who just talk anyhow, they blow hot air and all that. And when you read about Papa, you will know what he's done and what he stood for and for which he wants to put in us. He says Ghana is not the, 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 the limitation. Africa is a rebirth of Nkrumah. This is Felicity, and she tells me, and she tells you that you are at the right forum. And she's doing quite amazing. I saw a lady who said she's a medical student, right? Science student, right? Yeah. You know, it's difficult to show what you can do because you're a science student, right? All you do is to go to the lab and all that, right? It's important that you get grooming which would help you know how 
through that you can even be recognized. Because it's important, your story can change someone's life. And that's what key is we of this year. This is the next person. We call him the big man. The big man. I recently so he's not really in he's not in the country. He's in Oxford University. And you can see his portfolio again. And he is a fellow of the Clinton Global Initiative. Yeah. That's Norbert. See his cheeks. <laughs> anyway. Norbert, we call it the diplomat of our time. And I know very well that through the great efforts of KSV, he was connected. And because he's a smart guy, he's doing amazingly well. I say that your story could be better. You need a platform to groom and to bring it out and to connect it. Some of us, we know how to dress, but you don't know how to talk. You need someone to teach you. And the family as an institution is failing. And so you need professional coaches. Dr. Pascal is the coordinator for Obama's foundation that is young. And I had the opportunity, he invited me over to, I mean, put some of my expertise to use. It was one of the huge platforms I ever shared. And just to learn how to communicate on different levels, national, regional, international, and make you sellable. Now, my story. I took this picture part recently, that's my study area. You know the law, when you're reading law, and after I don't even know my fate. Yes. Because you'll be expelled if you do not meet certain great points. The law is seriously demanding. And I noticed that I was blessed to have passed through KSP. They will start bombarding with you with some book and book chapters to read and summarize. And with the shortest possible time, you should be able to read a particular book, come and communicate that you do presentations, you do debates, you do what not. You will see the pressure that it comes with it. When you travel, whether outside or within Ghana, to go for a camp, you don't sleep for four hours or five hours. You go, you go to bed very late and go on to you to report to dining or prayers, devotion late. Drop the suck you. The pressure is so huge. And sometimes you go like, oh shoot, I think it's a mistake coming here. Some of us have never had an experience. Just my process, some of us sleep, holidays, we sleep the whole day. The world is not waiting for us as young people. Every time you need to be up and doing very, very, and have a restless time. Because what's the exuberance for at this stage? You want to wait when you outgrow the times and you are struggling to move before. You start saying that the Nyayaka, no, KSV exposes you quite early. And I'm happy because hundreds is actually the best opportunity, best starting point. You don't have to wait. I'm not the right person to be here because just like I told you, my colleagues and seniors are better off. And anywhere you go and see a before scholar, he or she stands out. And we've had testimonies upon testimonies. I need a direction in life. Because sometimes it's not enough to say that I want to be a medical doctor. And I've started telling you the story already. Because I've been told I have a few minutes. One thing before scholars program offers you that I haven't seen anywhere is the interest they take in you from start to finish. 
And sometimes I don't know if they, they strategically do it. Because everything seems to connect. The first thing you go to come, they're going to introduce you to this uh, vision board. You come with some cupboards and then you write what you want to become in the future, where you come from and all that. And guess what? I think the very last day of your stay there, they will tell you that revise or reassess if what you said you wanted to become, you are becoming, and are you on track? You don't have it that way. When Prof spoke, Prof is not going to follow up and make sure that you are doing what he said you're doing. But here's he will do it. Here's he will do it even in the sense that when you realize you are going, he will draw you back and will draw your attention to it. I've had instances where silently I've observed one of our scholars being called to book and being told to behave well on campus and the politics of the day. And it's so beautiful that they, they, you have a huge responsibility. If you don't have a responsibility onto yourself, KSP says that you have a responsibility onto society. And more importantly, you are living in the giant steps of one who has lived it all, he's seen it all, and he wants Africa to be best. Who happens to be a power? So KSP is a platform which doubles the role of your parents. And for some of us, I'm giving you just the second point. Some of us didn't know how to learn the spirit of humility, their constructive criticism. Some of you are so much pampered, even if you are not pampered by your parents, you are so much pampered by your friends, so much so that you can't submit to authority. You need to learn the spirit of humility because if you do not, you get up there and go like, Nyayaka, it will destroy you. What you would expect is the spirit of humility. Dr. Pascal will not let it easy on you because he knows that it should he allow you your pleasures will set in, he's grooming you not for your sake but for the society. Because we tire, the problems are still ongoing. So who can cause the change? It's, it's through people like him, it's through people like the KSP program that we can cause the positive change. So sometimes you know that you're not living for yourself. You're living for your family, you're living for your society. You learn the spirit of tolerance because of the diversification. When it comes to medicine, sit somewhere. In those times when it came to communication, even though I was wrong, you didn't know how to do it. And the dog would say, okay, come, can you write a story for us? When it came to medicine, you need to shut up and, and allow another person to handle it. That's what makes the society functional, where we have different bodies, parts of our bodies, all functioning for us to survive. You need to learn tolerance. And your passion for that which you want to be will be rekindled again. If you leave KSP and you are not able to achieve what you want to achieve, be it resources, strategic thinking, how to even evaluate yourself to see that you are making progress and all that. Then you need to let the program pass through you. That's, that, these are the things that have been my experience with the more. And the lessons are quite telling. Because everywhere you go, you notice that there was something implanted in you by KSP which is shining. Those gentlemen and lady that I projected They've moved from KSP to other big platforms, emerging public leaders. And I left out about two or three senior of them who, when you mention their name, they're scary. The standard they are setting is scary. I can think of Aaron, I can think of Salman, and the lady who's supposed to address you today, who I'm feeling her big shoes, Esther Spiel. You've moved on to, they are working at embassies, they are working with the ministries, they've traveled widely, they've moved to China, different continents. And what is making them stand out is not because they don't have to speak, but it's because of KSP and what KSP has implanted in them. You know, one day you, you want a platform, even when you don't know anyone there, and then you, you are shivering that you do mess up, you are messing up the name of Papa. Can you imagine the brass? 
Thank you. A big clap. A bigger clap.